Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is our report for Friday, December 4th, 2020. We're going to take a look and give you a free uh, college football play from Saturday's early card on this report. And I want to do that because it's a game where we might see some line movement. So I want to get this to you early. And, and, and of course, we'll be back on Friday night with at least one more college football or college basketball play for Saturday, but I didn't want to forget that, so I wanted to let you know right at the top. Uh, we'll get to the free play in just a moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video and you can get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Uh, the run is still alive, the perfect run in college basketball. You know, we split our sides. We went one and one on day one, which was November 25th. Since then, we've gone seven and zero oh, uh, over the last eight days with our college basketball sides, and we've picked up almost $3,000 for $100 per unit betters during this 7-0 run. We're up $2,900. Uh, one again last night, we had Utah over Washington. Nice 14-point win by the Utes. And we've got one play on Friday. Cool thing is, it is, is excuse me, it is a seven-star play on Friday slate. It is our lone basketball play for Friday. We'll look to run uh, the perfect run with our college basketball sides to 8-0. And right now, we are 8-1 on the season. So seven straight winners, 8-1 college basketball sides overall. And uh, let's keep it going on Friday with the seven-star play. You can grab that over at DocSports.com. You know about football. All the plays released yesterday on Football Thursday at DocSports.com. Seven plays for me taking place Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, it includes a seven-star play in Sunday's NFL and a six-star play in Saturday's college football. Don't miss out on that. Uh, soccer doing real well. We are up almost $2,000, $1,965 of profit uh, just since November 29th. We had another $275 underdog price yesterday. Yesterday. We went against Leicester. We felt they might sit some regulars in that game when we cashed that particular ticket. So real nice run in soccer. Uh, don't miss out on anything this weekend. Again, football's ready right now. Seven-star college basketball goes on Friday. I'm not going to be involved in soccer on Friday after handicapping the card, but I am going to have a play on Saturday, likely a five-star play in soccer, looking ahead to Saturday's card. Uh, UFC goes on Saturday. We have hit 70% over the last 10 cards, picking up over three grand for $100 per unit betters. No PGA for me on Friday. That was our one loss on Thursday. I had a head-to-head -head with uh, answer over Fowler. And I don't know if you got to see it at all, but uh, Fowler ended up winning that matchup by two strokes. Uh, but I looked to, I'll look to be in action again on Saturday and round three. Just didn't like what's out there for round two as far as the matchups are concerned. So that's everything that's going on for me on Friday. And again, that seven-star play in college basketball star of the show in Friday's action. Uh, let's get to our free play. And I mentioned I wanted to get this to you today uh, because, you know, I think there's a possibility that this line's going to come down right now at seven. Texas laying seven against K-State. And uh, I like Kansas State in this spot. Listen, I know Kansas State has been no great shakes this season, uh, but there's such a difference right now on the campus in Manhattan, Kansas, compared to what's going on in Austin. Chris Kleiman, head coach of K-State, is going to be back next year. Uh, it is senior day, but you can come back if you wish this year because of what happened with the COVID virus. So they may have some players coming back here, and I think they can hang with a Texas team that looks like they just want to end the season. Remember, Remember, K-State can still land in a bowl game. As far as Texas is concerned, I mean, there's just no hiding it. It's no longer a secret. Uh, they're looking to land Urban Meyer for next season. Are the Texas Longhorns in Austin? Some rumored big money going on out there right now as they try to land him. And that means that, uh, you know, Coach Herman is hearing all this right now. He knows he's, in all likelihood, a, a lame duck along with his assistants. And they're coming off that real tough last second loss last week uh, to the Cyclones of Iowa State. They've had a couple of more players opt out since the loss to Iowa State. It's just gone south on Texas. Even if they win this game, they're not going to reach what they would had hoped for, uh, their potential. They're not going to meet expectations of their own and others. And it's just a bad situation right now. So uh, we're going to recommend a play on Kansas State plus the points, getting seven as we cut this video against Texas. That's a 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific game on Saturday. And as I mentioned, I will be right back here late Friday night with another free play for Saturday's card. This won't be the only one. Passing Friday night college football, by the way, in case you were wondering. All right, again, seven-star college basketball play highlights Friday's card. We're going to look to get to 8-0 at this current run. And uh, listen, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column.